software responsible for the Eastern and uh, Central European market as a sales manager for <coughs> packaging, printing and packaging. And I would like to give you a little overview about offset in packaging. What you see here is maybe the chance what we have in the future to provide offset in packaging, to give offset new ideas. Offset is a printing technology which is standard for a long time period, but not really in packaging, not in flexible packaging. And we think there should be a chance to, uh, to implement this technology there. But maybe we have to do some changes before this can be reality. What are the typical trends in packaging? What we face on today? Everybody wants to have uh, better aesthetics, more colors, higher line screens, more photos and more versions on its uh, packaging material. Yeah, it's very easy if you want to have it, but this is a high demand. So what does this mean? This means costs. Everything you want to do in more details means costs. Shorter runs, smaller sizes of jobs, new products, maybe marketing new products, and the, the uh, try to maintain low costs. Yeah. And what is the result of that? Response, speed to the market. If you have new products, you want to bring this product to the market in a very short period of time. But nevertheless, we have competition and we have a responsibility concerning environmental issues. What is the market uh, in the moment? The market is driven by the consumer. What does this consumer want to have? A lot of varieties of different products. So this means an explosion in SPUs. In former times we had one sort of chocolate. What do we have now? A lot of different sorts. But this does not mean that the people eat more chocolate in total. This just means that the printing companies providing this packaging material have a lot more to do to serve this market. A typical picture from yesterday, how were our supermarkets looking like? Cans, only big quantities, one kilo, two kilos, whatever. How is the market looking today? We have a lot of pouches. We have a lot of small uh, product sizes. Single households are growing. This means that the producer of uh, food stuff have to take care about these developments in the market. And this means a very, very uh, market-driven packaging industry. It means shorter runs. Job sizes are going down. It means higher quality to differentiate from competition. And it means faster logistics. If something happens like Fukushima, Nobody wants to have Japanese ingredients on this packaging anymore. So you need to react fast what the market demands. What are the drivers in the lifetime of a product? First, you have an innovation. Somebody has a good idea. Then it goes to marketing, to low volume, and if it's successful, the volume raises. So in the same way, the print job raises until the product is sorted out after a period of time. What does this mean to the packaging? It means Flexo, yesterday, maybe also today, can cover more or less the complete variety. Roto is used mainly for the big orders and other printing technologies are somewhere. But what can be in the future? In the future, Flexo will be, that's very fast, Flexo will be reduced during this process. Digital will come up, but only for very, very small job sizes. Roto will still remain in the big jobs, but the new BSOP of 
offset printing technology from Müller Martini, we'll be able to enter this procedure in a very nice way. So while the printing processes which are more or less used in this technology, we have braver printing, it's traditional. It's a very nice <coughs> technology, everybody knows in the packaging. We have Flexo, it's the same. Protogravure is used for a high quality, Flexo is more or less used for the medium and low quality. And offset can be a new technology in this range to give uh, additional possibilities to the packaging printers. Some technical things. Flexo printing is a very easy, gives some advantages, but also some disadvantages. We have more or less long living plates. It's easy to handle lightweight substrates because you only work in a kiss print, and the printing uh, the quality gap is, is uh, quite close. But you also have some limitations in this technology. The image carrier are expensive. The pre-press process is quite complex. It's not standardized. And you are limited to correct the colors, the inks on the press. Nevertheless, it's a nice process, but it's a process which I'm not sure if the future is still the same or the past was. In Braver, it's more or less the same. It's a quite simple process, but also with advantages and disadvantages. It's perfect for long runs. Rotor to run 100,000, 200,000 running meters, that's quite nice. You can lay down heavy ink uh, branches. And it's quite easy for consistent running. But there are some limitations as well. The carriers, the printing cylinders are very expensive. It's a very long lead time to get these cylinders. And the costs due to ink and cylinder in total are very high. So what we have seen before to serve a market in the future with a lot of varieties of, of uh, SKUs, it's maybe not the best technology for that. And so we have offset printing, probably well known to all of you. It's a little bit more complicated to make a printing deck, but at the end of the day, we have more advantages than disadvantages. Of course, we have limitations. It's not easy for everybody to run an offset press in the right way, to run more than ink balance. We cannot print very high branches of inks like Roto Prevue is able to do, for example, for a white. And some of the products are maybe not easy to run. They are difficult. But we have a lot of uh, advantages which are related to the future of packaging. And this means low costs and a very fast plate production. This is something all the other technologies are not really able to do. Excellent proof matching. So what you have on the proof is what you get on the packaging. Lowest dot game. Register is best. Line, fine lines are perfect to be printed. And it's easy to adjust printing uh, inks on the, on the uh, press as well. So at the end of the day, we have three technologies with plus and minus. In my opinion, the limitations in Flexo are more than the advantages. In Rotoperview, the same, especially if we focus on short runs. This is where the future is going to. And in our opinion, offset gives the best value for advantages with only little limitations what offset is not able to do in packaging. So we have a lot of things which we have to consider when we talk about packaging printing and printing is only a part of the packaging production process. So what is the presence of the offset? in the uh, packaging market today. I have figured out three, let's say, 